The pheasant hunt is closed in Utah, so in order to find wild birds, you got to travel. And I'm here with my buddy Brett Wanacott. Where have you brought us? Well, we're a long way from home, aren't we? And there are, isn't a mountain around anywhere. No, it, it's like a sea of grass, and which is good for pheasant hunting. It, it is, and, and we're in Kansas today, okay. and I've never been here before, so this is going to be a new experience for both of us. Yeah, and so uh, we're coming out here for pheasants, but also two species that neither you or I have shot, wild ones at least. Yeah, no, it's bobwhite quail and prairie chicken, so hopefully we'll get some of all of those. Okay. And, and we've come out here to hunt with a friend of mine that's invited us out to hunt on his place and it should be a, a really good time. I'm excited for this. What's up, Snaps? I oh, know that's rocks, huh? Yeah, they It's just like pivot corners and then there's a little draw that runs up and uh, so we'll just kind of like hug around the pivot and let's do this. So I met Gary the way I meet a lot of my friends on the internet. Uh, yeah. the, uh, the social media is not all bad. It's, it's fun to make friends and connections. And I got friends all over the country. Our first hunt today is in a field Gary says should give us a chance at Bob White Quail and pheasants. Most Utahns, I think, or at least I thought, don't think of Kansas and pheasants. They think Kansas and whitetails. We have mule deer and pheasants and quail and prairie chickens and all sorts of other coyotes, yeah. a lot of hunting. This bunch of birds just got a, got one. Did you get one too, Adam? I got one also. Dead bird. I got one here. I don't know which one this is. I think the, the, the other, other one's one is up a here. little bit farther. This one's, this one's likely mine. Look at that beautiful bird. Yeah, it's my first wild bobwhite. Shot hundreds of pen raised bobwhites in training. And we didn't have any fantastic dog work or anything on them, but I killed a bobwhite in Kansas. How about that? Cool. Man, you guys are some hand shooters. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Sorry. We try to keep those to have. <laughs> that is the first wild bobwhite. Gorgeous little bird. Fast. Came right out from under my feet scared the crud out of me. We're just gonna see if there was any more birds here. They hold tighter than... Get it. Did I finally get a male? Yep. Nice. It's a male and a female. Very cool. Sure, neat little quail. Anyway, that part's done. Let's go kill some roosters. <laughs> Kansas is usually in the top three or four pheasant hunting states in the U.S. Jared, point. With hunters taking between 400,000 to 800,000 roosters every season. Good girl, good girl. She might bring that bird to you. See guys, I don't mess around shooting hens. <laughs> That's a good looking bird. There's a bunch of birds in there. It's been tough. It's been dry, hot. You can't get close to them. Yeah. No. Yeah, they're bumping out pretty far. Yeah, pretty loud walking through there. Yeah, it's, it's tough. We needed to be here Saturday morning when there was snow on the ground. Story of our lives. Pretty much. So I think what we'll do is just jump in here and work this down to the end, cut across that pasture and go up through that CRP. You were saying earlier that it surprised me that uh, a lot of Utahns come out here? I think we run across quite a few when we're hunting opening weekend and then they'll trickle in throughout the season. Sunny's on point. Usually do pretty good on pheasants. They, they love hunting pheasants. You guys do? Yeah. Well, I think it's a tradition in Utah. You know, there's 30, 30, 40,000 pheasant hunters back in the day and you know, our numbers went down so much so people really have to spread out and travel. And this, this, is a, this is a jaunt from Utah. I mean, it's quite a ways. Yeah. Only well, you guys are too good at shots, maybe. <laughs> I don't know about that. She move on her own? Yeah. Yeah, she's trailing the birds. That's, that's, this is her way. She'll get it pointed at the end. We might have birds running, and so follow her. She'll probably relocate a bunch of times. Kill that one. We've pushed to the end of this CRP field, and the birds are coming out everywhere. Hand. Hand. 
And rooster, rooster. <laughs> Did you knock one down? Rose has it right here. Good girl, Rose. Good girl. Right That's on. why you have a dog. That's right. Because I would not have found that. Good girl, Rose. Dang, that was a lot of. That's a lot of roosters. That is a lot of roosters. I have never. I haven't seen that in Utah in two decades. Yeah. Hard flyers. They are running little fools. They're different than Utah roosters. Are. I mean, look at the tail. It's just like a little different pattern. Yeah. Everything was pretty there with the shooting, boys. <laughs> the scent conditions are about as tough as they could be, and the birds are running on us. Let's go back through it. It's making it hard to get a good point and shot. But when you have moisture and cool conditions, it's night and day. I mean, dogs look fantastic, and when it's dry, they look really bad. They're running on us too, though. Oh yeah, they're being pheasants. I mean, pheasants do that, and we're hunting them in CRP, um, which is the best, my, my favorite way to hunt them. Um, and they're running like crazy and popping up at the edges. And we did get a couple. You know, we've got a few pointed over the last little while, and that's fun. Good boy, snaps. Flush that bird for us. That's a good boy. Fetch him here. Good boy. Right here. Good boy. Good boy, snappers. I just love to hunt pheasants, boy. They, they're so fun. They're hard to get pointed. When you finally get one pointed, even when you get one pointed by a doofus, it's still fun. First Kansas rooster, period. Let's find another one. Adam. Point. Easy. Hand. Good boy, snap. Good boy. That's a good bird. We double whammy him. Snaps did a great point. You see all those birds coming out of there? Nice, probably two year old bird. Great long tail feathers they have here. Wild birds. There's nothing better. I mean, the legs on these things are just chunks. See if we can get on them. All right, SX3. Watch out, pheasants, here they come. It's fun, birds. We hunted Gary's property, land his family owns, and walk-in hunting access property. We found birds on all of them. It's all privately owned land that the Kansas Department of Wildlife and Parks pays the landowner for public access. I'm not sure how many acres, there's a pile of acres. You can get on Onyx and find it, or they have Weehaw maps at Walmart or wherever you get a hunting license. And... Fetch, dead bird. That had to have fallen stone dead. Where is he? Fetch here. Good boy. Another beautiful Kansas rooster. Wild flusher, but I've never not taken a gift rooster like that one. There's quite a bit of walk-in access property and we found a few birds, but as expected, the private lands held more. If you're going to try to hunt Kansas, it's going to take some door knocking and some investigation on your part to secure some access. I know a lot of guys have groups that come out the opening weekend or the second weekend, you know, and then after that, I would assume it's probably pretty easy to go knock on the door and get permission to be about anywhere. Where'd he go, little one? Good shot. That's the one she's been looking for, I think. Yeah. That looks like a nice bird. It is. Sunny was on it. She had pointed it once, and then it took off running on her. These birds like to run, and so they're difficult to point, especially in these dry conditions. Kind of try to work slower when it's dry like this and give them a little more chance to catch a scent and uh, seems to help, but you still go buy a lot of birds. This bird might have already gone. I saw a bird flush from over here. That's what I thought Get was going to happen. Nice. And I got a runner. Rush. Good girl. Good girl. Back. Oh, there he got goes. away from her too. <laughs> Weighs half as I do. Good girl. Good girl. This one about got away. The tail feathers came out and she was bringing it back and uh, we had a had a wild chase for a minute. It was an older bird, half inch spurs. Snaps is on point again right here. 
At least I think. Be, be ready, Adam, because if once I go down in here, I'm not gonna be able to see that way at all. I got you. If the bird's still here, or birds. Nice shot. Snaps thinks he smells in here, but he's got him. He's got him. Good boy, fetch right here, right here, fetch. Good boy. To me, that's what's that's what's probably prettiest on a bob white is that chest. Yeah, that was exciting. I was almost on my butt when I pulled the trigger. I mean, geez, I was down in a hole. <laughs> that was pretty fun. That's part of that's part of what uh, what makes bird hunting fun, though, is the unexpected. That's probably the most pheasants I've seen in 25 years. Oh, we saw a lot of birds. We just need to get them to behave. Yeah, and you got a beautiful stud Bob White there. That's going to the taxidermist. Yeah, he's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Hey, Gary, thanks again for letting us come out here. This for a Utah. This is pretty fantastic. Yeah, anytime. Yeah, you need, to, you need to come to Utah now. We will. Let Brett put some hurt on you by chasing chuckers. <laughs> hey, get out uh, get out here and hunt some of these birds, man. Whether you, if you got to take a trip, you know, 12 hours, you, you do it. You just do what you got to do. Hey, it's all in good fun. Yeah, good company, good, good friends, birds, bird dogs. Wind. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and for a good read, don't forget Millionaire's Dream. Check it out on Brett's website or over there on Amazon as well. I'm Adam Eagle, KSL Outdoors. We'll see you next weekend. Good night. <laughs>